Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Bake Brigade. Um, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Mornings with Jesus, our daily devotionals. Sorry, I'm running a little late. This is for Friday, no, uh, December 9th. Um, our Bible, our devotionals start with a Bible verse and then an um, inspirational story and end with a faith step. Sorry, I'm a little frazzled. So here is our Bible verse. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. John 16:33. Now our inspirational story. My mother has been in my thoughts because this year she would have celebrated her 100th birthday. She was Norwegian and both her parents had immigrated to Minnesota from the old country. Her father, a commercial fisherman, drowned when she was two, leaving her mother to raise six, alone, six children alone. Mom's life was not e easy, but she made the best of it. She depended, uh, she depended on Jesus to see her through, always remaining positive. That is, until she became afflicted with tinnitus the perception of noise or ringing in the ears Mom, in mom's case tinnitus was a symptom of her age-related hearing loss and it drove her crazy at first her tinnitus took the form of loud thunderous booms that awakened her in the night then came the incessant ringing sometimes louder, sometimes softer, but always there. For the first time, I saw mom tormented by her circumstances. Then one day, out of the blue, mom began to hear music in her ears. Google informed me that mom had musical tinnitus, a rare form of the condition. She liked being special. Later, she told me, I've been in my prayer closet talking this over with Jesus, and Reeve decided to enjoy the music. From then on, she did. Sometimes she'd say, oh, they're playing. When or when, where or when, Dad's and my song. Around Christmas, Mom's music switched to carols. With Jesus' help, Mom made the best of her situation. Pat Butler Dyson. Face Step. In times of tribulation, ask Jesus to show you how to make the best of things. That's not always an easy task to do, but it's the best thing you can do for yourself because life in this old cruel world dishes out terrible things. But if you can find the positive in it, because Jesus helps you do that. If you can find the positive in it, you can get through anything. I hope this helps you. It certainly helps me. I love you and so does Jesus. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.